Hi, uh, John Chris Mason R&D. Well, we've been asked by one of our race guys to uh, make him some nuts for his axle. Uh, these were handmade back when the car was built, back in the, uh, I guess it's back in the 70s. And uh, now he's having some issues with the nuts uh, finally wearing out. So this is the nut we were provided as a sample. And as you can see here, it's a inch and eighth by 16 right hand thread. And we've already made four nuts. We've got to make a total of 10 pieces all together. And uh, just kind of wanted to show you how this was done, or at least how we do it. Uh, it'd be nice if we could find the nuts, but inch and an eighth 16 is not a real common size or anything. So we have to make them ourselves. So let's go to the mill and have a look and see what's going on. Well, our setup's relatively simple. Uh, we're just using a spindex to hold a 5C adapted chuck and a tail sock off of our index head. To use this, we actually had to stick some half inch spacers under the spindex to get it to the right level. So what we need to do is take and cut this. You can see what we cut it for the other four. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it so we can make four more. And uh, what I normally do is to take and bring the part over I've set my dial at zero down here, and I'm just going to bring the cutter down, touch off, I'm going to lock it into position, pull this back, and I know I need to take about 115 thousandths off of each side, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut 100 thousandths off, then I'll come back in and cut the 15. Well, I've raised the table up 100 thousandths. We'll go ahead and cut this. We found that the nut had to be an inch and a half across the flats. So we're using a piece of inch and three quarters steel to make it out of. steel like this, you don't want to put your brush down here by the cutting area because it'll just give you a haircut on your brush. Put it up here so it'll actually go down the flutes. Or you can put it up here on top and have it drizzle down as well.
car. Tailstock over here. Now if you take a look here, I put the tap in here to hold this, and that gives me an instant center, which I thought was kind of a clever idea to, to do. That's it. Now our next uh, job is to take and slice these off on the lathe and uh, we'll have ourselves some more nuts. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how to do this on the mill. It's not real hard to do. You just have to take a few minutes to figure it out. John Costa Mace R&D. We'll see you soon. Thanks.